Hi everyone, I'm back. It's Spartan Clipper and welcome to my channel. Um, I want to say hi to all of my subscribers and welcome to my new subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, that you're vid viewing my video, please comment. I mean, well, I always say that at the end, please comment where you subscribe. But also, click that yellow or gold button that says subscribe because you know you want to. Alright, I'm here to talk to you about some hair things. Well, first, does your butt hurt? Mine does, because this economy is kicking my butt. <laughs> but fortunately, we have a cushion called an emergency fund. But that's another video. So, um, I wanted to come to you with a hair video and tell you about something that I finally got to do that I've been mentioning in all my other prior hair videos. So, instead of me just talking about it, let me show you. Yes, I'm coming to you from the morning, in the morning, um, with my satin, trust you, satin bonnet that I put a bed in. And here, let's check it out. No, she didn't. Yes, I did. I finally got a trim. <laughs> well, let me tell you how that happened. Well, I'm coming to you from my in-laws guest bathroom. I'm visiting them. My family and I are visiting them. And I was looking around and I noticed this lady with healthy natural hair. So I asked her, I said, oh, excuse me, you know, how do you trim your hair? Of course, complimenting on her, her on her hair as well. And she told me, oh, I got to a salon, I just blow dry it and trim it. So I told her, I asked her, I said, well, can I have, you know, how do I get in touch with your stylist? So she gave me a number. So I called up the stylist and I scheduled an appointment. And I asked the stylist if she wanted me to wash my hair myself or did she want to wash it. She said it was up to me. So I told her, I'll wash it and I'll just come up and I'll schedule for a trim. So, um... I know how I like to wash my hair. I know what I like to use on my hair. So I decided to, the day prior to my hair appointment, um, I shampooed my hair with um, Jason's Natural Sea Kelp Moisturizing Shampoo. Once, check out my video on how I do that. And then afterwards, I wanted to make sure my hair was in its optimal condition. So I decided to do a deep conditioning treatment with Elasta QP's DPR11, um, the deep, uh, deep Penetrating Remoisturizer Conditioner. Applied that to my hair in smaller sections, uh, detangled or untangled my hair with my wide tooth comb and another size comb to make sure it's really untangled. And then I braided my hair up at night in those sections and those smaller sections. Uh, applied a shower cap or a um, shopping bag, and that's a tip use what you got around the house. Shopping bag just does just fine. So, um, covered my head with my satin bonnet, oops, and then um, went to sleep on it. Then I got up in the morning, um, unraveled my each braid, worked my fingers through them under the shower head of running water, and then after I um, left my hair dripping wet, shook my hair, applied my glycerin spray, check out my video on that, and then I didn't want to add too much to my hair because um, I knew she was going to blow dry my hair. So um, my appointment was at 4 o'clock. Uh, I got there about five minutes late, right behind because of the weather, and also I got lost, never been there. So she still had a client in a chair that she was finishing up with, and then she put me, brought me back, we introduced ourselves, and um, she draped me, and then she started proceeding to, you know, work her fingers through my hair, and then she um, started applying like a heat protectant, I'm assuming, and used this white tooth comb called a bone comb. You can get it from Sally's, and um, she did like one or two strokes, and I told her, I said, I have better... Um, I have a better, I have better, or I have more success with manipulating my hair by having it wet. So she's like, okay. So she took me back to the wash bowl, wet my hair, applied like a conditioner. I told her I washed my hair and deconditioned it prior. So she worked it in really quickly and rinsed my hair out. Hair in a good state. <laughs> you know, my hair is ready to get worked with. So she started working through my hair. Um, the air in the salon, from the dryers and all the heating elements, um, the, the air was really hot and dry. So my hair, she just patted my hair after um, the conditioning wash, basically. And um, my hair really wasn't very wet at all when she first started to blow dry it um, out. Um, it didn't take very long. She didn't leave it blow dry in segments too long. And then she proceeded to trim. And I told her, I said, well, <laughs> I told her I was nervous about coming, not to her, but just coming to a salon in general because of my experience of what happened um, on why I went natural. Check out that video and see what I'm talking about. And um, I told her, you know, I had my BC in December of 07, so it's been 15 months since I've seen a stylist, you know. So she said, I understand because... She herself is natural, but she blow dries out her hair and flat irons it. So um, she doesn't have a laxer either. So she understood where I was coming from. 
So I asked her, I said, how's the condition of my hair? She said, well, it's dry. And I said, okay, I said, well, I mean, I knew it was going to be dry. And I should have mentioned to her that I told her I just told her about my glycerin spray. But I didn't apply that much to my hair that, mor you know, that morning because um, most stylists, they know what they want to use on your hair. They have the heat protectants and products that they normally use. And I don't manipulate my hair in that way. So, of course, I was I would assume that my hair would be dry because it didn't have that much to it and just basically water and just a few spritzes of my glycerin spray that morning. Which is fine with me, but to her it was dry, which I understand. I can understand that. So she suggested to me, um, I asked her, so what do you, how do I remember that? And she, suge she suggested that um, once a week grease my scalp. Well, I haven't um, been doing that. Um, it hasn't been really itchy. Well, it has been. Not itchy, but I noticed like midway through since I washed my hair or conditioned washed my hair. No, so mid halfway through the week, I would have to, I have started, um, conditioning washing my hair because I thought, you know, my scalp's dry, let me wash it, but I didn't want to shampoo it because I know it's not dirty. So she suggested to me um, this that she had in the salon, the Ultimate System Maximum Strength Super Grow, which is nothing to me, basically. I don't really care about growth because look at my hair, it's grown, be in its natural state, but it has um, vitamin E, mink oil, jojoba oil, lanolin, protein, hormones, and other conditioning ingredients make that wait, ingredients make this maximum strength super grow the very best available on the market today. It conditions both hair and scalp, adds luster, prevents breakage, aids in new hair growth. This professional product is preferred by thousands of, of professional hairstylists. It's so light and penetrable. Penetrable, it can be used for casual or leisure styles as well as natural styles, and it says apply a small amount to hair, scalp, or fingertips. And so she told me just part my hair in eight sections and apply just very little. It's very light. It's a very light oil. It has like a lemony, lemony mint smell to it. This is eight dollars. It's eight ounces, so I'm gonna see how that does. And it feels very light. And does what I don't know if it does what it says, but it feels like. And that's a nice sheen. And she also suggested I use this. I didn't use this product, but I used this line when I was relaxed. Um, Deadly's PCA Moisture Retainer is a concentrated leave-in moisturizing hair dressing designed to restore the hair's natural oils and moistures. This Deadly hair lotion is enriched with moisture-absorbing humectants and creamy emulsions that soften and retain moisture in the hair shaft. And it just says use about a dime size. Um, into the palm of the hand, massage through the hair, do not rinse out, style as usual. So let me see that. And this is like a lotion, too. Or this is a lotion, actually. And I like the work products that I want to use on my hair and my fingers because then I get an idea on how it feels on my hair. And this feels very light as well. Um, and very, like, cool. It has, like, a cool feeling to it. And it doesn't feel very heavy. And I don't know if I'm going to use these two together um, or how often I'm going to use them, but it says prevents dryness, restores natural moisture. That wasn't on completely. And I kind of like the way it feels on my fingers. So I'll give those a try because she, she, she suggested them. So this is my, I just wanted to share with you guys on my experience with my hair, getting my hair trimmed. Um, I was up in the shower since it's in the morning, and I just wanted to show you the morning after of what, how my hair looks after it gets trimmed. But I think what I'm going to do in the future is just work with a stylist that's comfortable with trimming my hair in its natural state. Or I may do it myself. Um, because I don't think um, natural hair, you know, net people that have natural hair, hair has to be altered to get trimmed. And so um, and it wasn't a bad experience. And I really will see the total result after I wet my hair and see how it goes back. So stay tuned for a picture of that. And um, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and stay tuned. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.